Hi, this is Yen from Hanson Research Group here at Florida State University. Today, I want to briefly go over this viewpoint we, we recently published in ACSN newsletter titled the, On the Quantum Yield of Upconversion via Triplet Finalization with um, Professor Phil Castellano from NC State University and Professor Tim Schmidt from the University of New South Wales. Um, so with the development of DDAUC, there's a growing diversity in the terminology, including concepts as fundamental as the upconversion quantum yield. This complicates the interpretation and direct comparison between experiment across from different research groups. That's why in this viewpoint, we propose an updated labeling scheme for describing quantum yield and DDAUC system as to better facilitate communication and comparison and to introduce more consistency in the scientific literature. So the general accepted mechanism for TTAUC using a molecular synthesizer annihilation, annihilator pair is presented here in figure one. And the quantum yield of any single or multi-step process can be defined uh, here in table two. And I would like to highlight the differences between um, VUC, VUCG, and VUCS. So first of all, here we have defined VUC as the measure of TTAUC emission quantum yield. That is the number of upconverted photons observed divided by the number of photons absorbed. Because of the two to one photon nature of TTAUC, the maximum theoretical value of VUC is uh, 0.5 or 50% instead of multiplying by two or normalized to 1.1, uh, 1.0 or 100%. And given the traditional and IUPAC definition of quantum yield, we strongly encourage the community to discontinue this normalization pra practice, or if they do, to label the result as the normalized upconversion emission efficiency. And in addition to VUC, we have defined VUCG as the quantum yield of photon generated, with the difference being the output coupling yield. And the reason for this distinction is that VUC is not necessarily intrinsic to the TTAUC system, but instead depend on the sample architecture as well as the method of measurement. And uh, lastly, arguably the most literal definition of, of upconversion quantum yield is VUCS, or the number of upconverted state generated per number of photons absorbed. It is the upconversion quantum yield prior to annihilator to synthesizer in a transfer, non-radiative decay synthesization, and output coupling losses. And because of that, regardless of the application, VUCS can be uh, compared across all TTAC systems. And the above discussion is focused on molecular synthesizers systems. It can be applied to inorganic synthesizer systems and other systems by analyzing the mechanism and adding or removing quantum yields accordingly. And as an aside, we have three additional comments regarding the standardization in the TDAUC literature. First, it is more appropriate to describe synthesizer absorption and upconverted emission as an apparent anti stockers shift. And the magnitude should be reported based on the difference between the emission peak of the annihilator and the lowest energy absorption peak of the synthesizer instead of the excitation wavelengths. Second, the I value should be reported in terms of both uh, source intensity in microwatts per centimeter square and the excitation density in excitation per second per centimeter square for a direct comparison between different systems. Third, TTAUC activated at subsolar light flask does not simply mean exciting the sample with the monochromatic light at intensity less than 100 milliwatts per centimeter square. When comparing monochromatic excitation to solar intensities, it is pivotal to only integrate the AM 1.5 solar spectrum over the synthesizer excitation range, not the entire solar spectrum. In line with this point, we strongly encourage authors to discontinue subjective and quantitative descriptions of incident power when more quantitative descriptions are readily available. Um, so more detailed discussion can be found in our publication, and I'll put the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching.